Hello, join us as we put together the ice packs from the Greenleaf Furniture Kit from 1982. This may seem pretty repetitive if you have watched any of the other videos from this series, but if you haven't, it's the procedure is to identify each one of the pieces corresponding to the ice packs and then pushing them out carefully from front to back. These are all the pieces corresponding to the ice packs. And I will be using this one uh, ice packs as inspiration. The first thing that I have to do is sand it, especially on the edges. And I will be using a coarse grit sandpaper and then finer grit. And that has to be done to each one of the pieces and carefully removing all of the uh, wood from the interlocking slots. After I'm finished, then I have to give it a good wipe. Look how much debris does come out. This is the lid from a coffee can. And it has a pattern, it has a grid and I want it to flatten it. So that's what I'm doing with the pencil to make it lay flat. And using the shelves, I'm cutting pieces that match exactly the size of the shelf. And it's a good thing that it has a grid because then I can go straight and I'm gonna use the um, the shiny side is going to be the visible side. Because the ice box inside had a galvanized metal box so as to cool so as to keep the cool from the ice on top. And only the shelf in the middle it's folded all the way because it's going to show when the door is open. I'm using carpenter's wood glue to put it, to assemble it together. And I have my little friends here, my Lego blocks. And these guys help me glue it on 90 degree angles so that my shelves are straight and then all the pieces fit perfectly. On the back of the refrigerator or the ice box, I will be gluing the same tin foil from the coffee can lid. And I actually tried it with E6000 glue and it didn't work. What seemed to work for me is carpenter's wood glue. Go figure. I thought that if it was metal that the other one would work better, but it didn't. I have the shelves and they're all lined with the foil. So now I can go ahead and glue the sides of the ice box. And this is just a rectangle box, so it's pretty basic. The most difficult part for me is to have to wait until it dries. It, it would go much faster if I use hot glue, but I rather do it this way with carpenter's wood glue. And the sides are also lined with the foil because when you open it, it should give the appearance that it has the galvanized metal inside. This is for the front door. And this part is ornamental. This is the frame of the front. And right here you have the option. You can actually make it a refrigerator or an ice box and I'll show you how. This is the stain. I want it to be an oak ice box because that's the wood that was usually uh, utilized for this piece of furniture and I apply it and then wipe it down quickly and then one coat of polyurethane. It protects it, makes it a little bit shiny, not too much because it's this is the one that I selected is low gloss. I ran out of my coffee um, tin foil. So this is from a food container. This is going to be for the hinges. 
and I have to roll it on a needle. So this is one side and I have to do the same thing to the other side and then make sure that they align perfectly. If they don't align perfectly, then I'm gonna have trouble opening and closing the door. Okay, so this works. And now I'm going to replace the needle with the actual um, wire that I will be leaving in there. And I chose one that is not too, too stiff, but it's easy to work with. And this, for this part, I'm going to use um, crazy glue. And I'm only applying on the part that I rolled it so that the foil does not unroll. Same crazy glue to glue it onto the ice box. Well, I'm holding it with um, masking tape just so that it holds the door in the place where I want it set. Maybe I'll age a little bit the uh, the metal. And it looks like it has the galvanized. I put a little toothpick on the bottom just so that it doesn't put too much stress on, uh, stress on the hinges. So this is where you have the option of using uh, the top part of the ice box as a refrigerator. Then you would put an the uh, door in the front but I'm going to use it as an ice box so my door opens on the top and for these hinges because it's from top to bottom I'm using duct tape these are the simplest things after I know that it's working I'm, I'll put a little drop of glue to make sure that the duct tape stays in place And let's see, it opens and closes. A little piece of magnet. This is going to be for the front door. And I just need a tiny little bit. If I put it right here, a little bit hidden behind the wood, and then the matching plate on the door, then it'll stay closed. Let's see if it works. It works. Turn it upside down and it doesn't open. And I have the top, that's the, that's the receptacle for the eyes. And I'm, I'm taking the edge of the food container and rolling it a little bit more to make a thick roll. Kind of like a rolling pin to, to make it all even. And I'm using the, uh, the um, handle of the brush just to make a round curve and flattening the sides that will be glued onto the door. Okay, so that's gonna be my door and doesn't need to be that big. So I'll cut a little piece and then glue it directly onto the door. Same crazy glue. Just have to be careful not to glue my fingers together. I have that done, done that in the past. Okay, so now it's finished. This is the ice box. This is the ice. This is foam from a packaging material. I'm going to give you a couple of choices for ice. Oh, this is the top of my Chanel perfume. This could also be a block of ice. You'll be amazed how many in how many places you can find pieces that can look like ice. This is my Victoria's Secret perfume and this one is the bigger one. I can just drop it in there and it gives me enough space to put my 
my little bucket of ice. This is how it opens and it closes with the magnet and it rests on the little toothpick on the bottom so as not to put too much stress on the, stress on the hinges. And let's put some food in there. Champagne, a couple of bottles of soda, and a couple of cans of beer. And this little container that I made also with leftover pieces and it's a crate with for the eggs, another little crate for all the different cheeses and a couple of salad dressings. And this is the bigger one because the family is a little healthy on the healthy side, there's a lot of produce. And this one I didn't make, but it happens to fit perfectly inside the ice box and allows the door to close. Nice. And a jar of pickles. And that's vinegar probably. And this is mayonnaise. And now we have our ice box. Bring it to the kitchen. Perfect. The kitchen is coming along. We still have a couple of pieces to put together. This is what we wanted to achieve and this is what we ended up with. I thank you for watching this video. If you like it, make sure you share it with your friends and have a nice day. Bye-bye.